Hello, this is Abby from OllieHolly.com. In this video, I will be showing you how I make this dollop of cream on this Christmas mug ornament. You can find this pattern on my blog for free along with the two other variations. If you want to follow along with the pattern, you can find the link to the pattern in the description box down below. To make the dollop of whipped cream, you will first need to make the latte base piece from the pattern. I'm using baby blue and hot pink yarn to make it easier for the camera to see. For this variation, the front loops from round 3 are exposed and we will be working into those front loops. Locate the final front loop from round 3, which is this loop. This is where we will pick up our first single crochet. With a slip knot on your hook, Insert your hook into the front loop and pick up a single crochet stitch. Continue working single crochet stitches into each front loop for a total of 18 stitches. You can also sandwich the tail into your stitches by laying it on top of the front loop you are working into to secure it down, like so. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I'll meet you at the beginning of round 2. In round 2, we're going to be making one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 18 stitches. Pause here to work the rest of round 2 and I will meet you at the beginning of round 3. For round 3, we are going to be working our first front post double crochet stitch. Front post double crochet is usually worked around a double crochet stitch, but in this round we will be working around the single crochet stitch from two rounds ago. So instead of working into the next single crochet stitch, we're going to be working into the one right below it, which is also the first stitch of round one. To make the first front post double crochet stitch, we will need to yarn over and then insert our hook right beside the first single crochet stitch, around the back and out the other side. Then we're going to yarn over and draw a loop up from behind the single crochet stitch. There should be three loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw it through the first two loops. Yarn over again and draw it through the remaining two loops. So this is our first stitch of round three. Now because we worked into the single crochet below our first stitch of the second round, we're going to skip that and work into the second stitch. So we'll be working one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And once again, we're going to be doing a front post double crochet. So look for your next stitch. It's this one right here. And the stitch below that one is this one. So we'll be working around this stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the side of the stitch and out the other. Yarn over and draw a loop up. Yarn over and draw it through the first two loops. Yarn over again and draw it through the final two loops. Work the next two single crochet stitches and then continue working the front post double crochet stitch and two single crochet until you get to the end. You should have six double crochet posts in total. 
Pause here to work the rest of round three and I will meet you at the beginning of round four. In round four, we will alternate between making one single crochet and decreasing. So work one single crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch. Then decrease the next two stitches. Pause here to continue alternating between one single crochet and then decreasing. Now we'll meet you at the beginning of round five. In round five, we are going to be starting off with a front post double crochet stitch. Unlike in round three, where we inserted our hook behind a single crochet stitch, we will be inserting our hook behind the front post double crochet stitch that we made in round three. So yarn over and insert your hook behind the double crochet post. Yarn over and draw a loop up from behind the double crochet post. Yarn over and draw it through the first two loops. And yarn over one more time and draw it through the final two loops. You'll notice that in doing so, we are extending the post from round three. Now work the next stitch, which is a single crochet stitch. And then work another front post double crochet stitch making sure to go behind the post we made in round three. Continue to alternate between making one front post double crochet stitch and one single crochet stitch. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I'll meet you at the beginning of round six. In round six, we will be decreasing six times until we have a total of six stitches left. So we're combining these two stitches by doing an invisible decrease. Pause here to work the rest of the decrease stitches. Before we move on to round seven, I'm going to lightly stuff the whipped cream. I'm using the tip of my scissors to do so, but you can also use a chopstick if you have one handy. For our final round, we're just going to be working a front post double crochet stitch into each of the six posts we made in round five. So yarn over, insert your hook behind the post, and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw it through two loops. Yarn over one more time and draw it through the last two loops. When you're done, cut the working end of the yarn and pull your hook up to fasten off. Thread the tail onto a darning needle and close the hole off. If you need to see this in more detail, I have a more dedicated video tutorial that I will link in the description box down below.
Weave the tail in and cut off any excess tail. To finish, shape the whipped cream with your fingers. And that's it for this tutorial. You can find the free pattern for this ornament on my site, ollieholly.com. Thank you so much for following along and I hope to see you in the next one.